Hi folks, I hope you're all doing really good and feeling even better. Today I got something new from Otter Messer. Uh, it's called a beekeeper knife. And um, the handle's made in plum wood. And we'll take a look at it in a minute. Let's do a quick spin around the block. As a matter of fact, the block is a slice of plum wood from uh, Oregon. I had that shipped in from Oregon. But that's just a little tidbit fact there for you. Let's take a quick spin over here first. We got the Victorinox Rainbow. Chocolate brown, summer lavender, blue, green, and silver. a -lock Solos. And right there at the bottom is the CJ Sheffield. I don't leave home without that. And up top here you got a Camillus. 1961 GI utility, a couple boxes, or a box and a tin. Way over here behind the traditional pocket knife sticker is the Shat Morgan Junior Scout, a Frank Buster, the 1981 um, Whittler. Way in the back there by Abe is a Puma Micro and a Marbles Collectible Lighter. Up on top of the Winchester box, it's a K-Bar, uh, 1977. It's called the X-177, and it is a dog head, dog's head. On the block, um, right up front is a Cripple Creek GEC number 14 boy's knife in a jigged elderberry. Behind that is a, uh, I forgot the year on it, but we'll call it the Cripple Creek GEC number 54 Big Jack. Um, right here behind the Pioneer button is a case. That's a rare case there. It's one out of 250. And it's called a um, washed brown bone handle. And behind that is the Shatton Morgan Silver Series Barlow that we just seen a couple videos ago. And right next to that is what I call the Twizzler. It's a um, Shatton Morgan horticulture knife with a sheep's foot and a clip point. Right in front of that is a Farm and Field Pocket Carver in Muslin Micarta. And in front of that is a 1940s to 1950s pale cutlery um, cigar jack, equal end. And over here is, we'll slide it right and see if we can get everything in the frame. Starting left to right is a 1995 Robeson Queen Granddaddy and Stag, a 1995 Robeson Queen Granddaddy in a uh, almost edible strawberry jig. Uh, you got the Titty Ute Woodland Micarta uh, Pioneer, Shat and Morgan uh, Pearl Mother of Pearl handled gent, teardrop gent. A 1995 Shat and Morgan smooth natural burnt bone um, single blade clip point gunstock. And next to that is something new. That's a 2001 Shat and Morgan Barlow single blade spear point. No shield. In the lower left corner, that's just the Rovivon flashlight. This big long sticker thing here is the toad sticker um, from Rough Rider. So that's pretty much it for what's out there. Uh, let's take a look at what the sh star of the show today is going to be. We'll slide it out. You guys are going to love this one. It's going to be a nice Sunday carry. Look at this wood. I picked the right one. I went with the plum wood. Got some extra lighting out so you can see the grain and the color. Might be too much lighting. Spear point, single blade, no half stop, uh, stainless steel, 
has this uh, B shield or um, shield here with the little bumblebee on there. I don't know if you can see that. We might have too much lighting here. I don't know how it's going to come out. Let's see what happens if we put this on. There's some mighty fine plum wood, folks. And that light's probably making it too bright. Let's try if I cut this light down. There we go. It might be a little better. <clears throat> and there you'll see a little bee, uh, bee on the shield. Kind of reminds me of, I'll have to reference another uh, TV show, The Green Hornet, uh, co-starring the great Bruce Lee as, uh, what was his name, Cato? Cato, I think it was. And on the etch you have your otter. Ross free, which is stainless, rust free, Solingen. And let's take a look at the pile side. Now, these are brushed brass bolsters. Say that three times. And it is a uh, brush finish on the blade. Let's see if this light, there we go. Get a good look at that wood. Now they have different options. I think it's pear wood and, um, gosh, I forgot the other wood. But once I seen plum wood, I had to have the plum wood because it has a uh, reddish tone to it and I like the red toned handles like your coca bolo and so on so folks let's take a look at it in the hand um, here let's get a couple quick measurements it's a four inch handle You'll see there. And the blade is what? Three and five eighths? No, I'm not lined up right. Three and a quarter with about a three inch, two and seven eighths cutting edge. That was kind of sloppy, but you get a general idea of its size. Let's take another quick look at um, this side here. Right about there. Pretty sweet knife there. Got a hand it to Otter. All right, let's take a look at it in the hand. Drop this down a little bit without everything falling apart. Now this has, you'll see it actually, it's more narrow up to the front here and you see how it, it um, widens out towards the uh, end there. So it's a pretty nice fit right in the swell of your palm um, beautifully able to index it on all your pinch grip even if you want to come back with the reverse grip really nice feel to it and no half stop but it's got Plenty of snap to it. That one kind of went down. It is tight. And I'm sure that'll all work in. <clears throat> Let's bring that down again. There. 
It's, it's got to be broken in. I oiled it. You can see the oil coming out. Put some mineral oil on it. Ross free solenogen, solenogen. And there's your bumblebee etch. A little gap in the shield there. Backside looks all in all pretty good. A little bit of a gap running up along this left side liner. Lots of oil still. Centered pretty good. Not perfect. But let's take a look at it with some other Otter Messer products. Slide this out a little bit. And get the Otter Messer Bumblebee. Otter Messer 3 Rivet in a smoked oak. I don't know if you guys can see that. Pull them out. And <clears throat> just for some shits and giggles, we'll put out. A 1953, or well, first let's do the vintage. This is the um, small anchor messer in Sapelli wood. I think that's how it's pronounced. S-A-P-E-L-I. And it's vintage because it has the, uh, the anchor is actually pinned in. And a 1950s cat. And that one's an advertising cat because it doesn't say... Doesn't have any etch for the cat on there. But if you guys look up that company, I think they were in business in the 50s. And let's take a look at them. You're going to see a very big resemblance to the three rivet and the beekeeper. In size, blade, um, let's try and get some better light over here. So, my friends, there you have it. Four really nice uh, knives out of Otter Messer. Couple been around for a while, and the two down here at the bottom are brand spanking new. So until next time, take care. Peace. Bye bye.